How to show sale discount percentage in Shopify. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back to yet another video and in this video we are going to be talking in great detail and depth about how you are going to be showing any type of sale discount percentage in Shopify in the easiest way. So welcome back to this video and I'm uh, basically I worked on this topic for quite a while because sale discount percentage can either be added to either code or some applications. So, you know, I'm going to be showing you all the ways on how you can add discount percentage on your product pages on Shopify. And yes, you heard that right. Uh, in this video, I will show you all the steps on how you're going to do it. So instead of the batch tested sale, you can show actually the exact percentage for the discount that you did set to that particular product. And it will be shown at both the collection page or the future products page or the product space as well. And we will do that again without using any apps or anything like that by adding your own custom code that will do the trick for you. And this code will work for every Shopify team. And if you are wondering why we shouldn't use the app for that, well, we already know they're using too many apps on your Shopify store and that can affect low building time and effective loading time of your Shopify store equals affecting the conversion rate. And that's really important. It's actually one of the most important aspects when it comes to success in Shopify or e-commerce in general. So you should use the minimum apps uh, that you can on your Shopify store to make the loading time much faster than your competition, obviously. And in this video, as I said, I will show you how to add the percentage discount on the product page on the batch, actually. And uh, that said, uh, let me show you on what I'm actually talking about. So basically, if I come to my Shopify store over here and give you a clear cut demonstration, uh, basically to add proper discounts or to add proper sale discounts, basically what you're going to be allowing yourself to do is first of all, you're gonna make sure that your products are added into your product section over here, right? Because without your products, you can really add discounts. Make sure you have like five to seven products. You can either drop ship them or you can add your own products if you want to. So let's say I'm gonna add some custom product of mine over here. Uh, and just me adding products, absolute piece of cake, doesn't take too long. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead with this. And once you've added that, you're finally going to click on save. And once you click on save, it's going to, you know, save all the necessary things and it's going to straight take you into the section. So, so moving on, once you've added these products into your actual store, uh, you can choose these product types if you want to. I'm not really going to mess around with them. Uh, make sure that they're in stock, make sure that uh, most of them are actually in working state, okay? And you can actually add them in stock by giving them a proper vendor and a proper URL. So obviously, I'm going to add a price. Then there is the compare at price, okay? So let's say the compare at price is going to be this much, okay? So once you keep a price, I'm just going to click on save. So a compare at price is needed to be added because that's what shows you the sale discount, okay? That shows you the percentage of the actual sale discount. So I'm gonna add it for this and I'm also gonna add it for this, okay? So in our case, let's say I'm gonna go with 6,000 and at the compare at, I'm gonna keep 13,000. So once all that is done, we're gonna click on save. And once you click on save, let me show you what this in general looks like. So I'm going to come over to online store. And once you come over, now once you're over here, all you're going to do is, uh, let's say, we're going to go over to customize, right? Now, if we go into customize, before going into customize, let's actually view the online store to see how things look in retrospect in the back end. Okay, so here we can see you can see all these things, etc. etc. And here are your products. So you can see their price that you kept, and this is their mean price. Okay, the price that was supposed to be right. So once we've got you know the concept of that, now what you're going to do is first of all, you're going to make a duplicate of your store because right now we're going to be messing with code, and when you mess with code, it's really easy to ruin your original store's design. So that's why I would recommend making a copy 
So in the case that we actually do go ahead and mess the store up, we have the original store to work with. Okay. So once you create a copy, now you're going to click on these three buttons and you're going to click on edit code. Now, once you click on edit code, what you're going to do from here is up here in the search files, you're going to write product dash card. So it should give you product dash card dot liquid. Okay. It should give you that, but in the case, it does not give you that you can add that snippet for yourself, right? So to add that snippet, you're just going to write over here, product dash card, and then just leave it like that product dash card dot liquid. So it's going to basically create this snippet for us. And trust me, this snippet is really helpful. It's one of the most important things when it comes to using actual code snippets for ourselves. So let me just close all these things so I can go into the snippet section. There we go. So down here, there you can see there we have our product card liquid. You can also add it in your product media liquid if you want to. Uh, you can see you get all the necessary codes in product media liquid as well. Uh, but yeah, you get the whole point. So once you add the product card liquid, the product card liquid is basically what associates around the product card, obviously. So in the product card, basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure to copy a code. Okay. And where are you going to get that code? This is the link. Okay. Uh, you're going to come here, make sure to uh, actually use this link that I'm showing you. Okay. You're going to go over to this link. Yeah, this link right here. Pause the videos and just make sure to copy that link. And uh, once you copy this link, you're going to go over to this link. You're going to get a code, a line of code that you're going to paste over here. And in the case you can't find product card liquid and you can't even create product card liquid, you can just go with card product liquid. And there you go. You're going to get card product liquid and you can just add the code that you find from there into here. OK, just add it under comments and it should be a piece of cake for you. So once you've added it, the code under your comments, trust me, things are going to be a piece of cake and easy workings from there. So that is how easy and simple it is to actually work with these kinds of things for yourself. So once you've done that, you're going to save everything. So, yeah, basically, once you add this certain line of code, what will start happening is it will start showing you percentages of the discount right beside the actual discount itself once it's on the product card. Again, if you can't find product card, just go to card product. OK, add the liquid code that I showed you the link from. And once you've done that, trust me, it's going to be easy sailing from there. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. So if you enjoyed this video, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see all of you wonderful people in the next video. Goodbye.